So you've got to write a personal statement with only 4,000 characters for your UCAS application. That's quite tricky, isn't it? You've got to demonstrate uh, a passion and an interest for the subject that you want to study at university. Tell us why you're interested in it. Don't say that you're interested in it because your teacher has told you that it'd be good to be interested in this or that your mum and dad have said that you've got to be interested in that. Tell us what you're interested in because that's a key part of university life. You've got to get up on a Monday morning when it might be raining and go to that lecture or go to that seminar or go to that workshop. And you've got to want to do it. So tell us why you want to study that subject really important to demonstrate what we call here at university self-directed learning and what i mean by self-directed learning is learning in which you are the driver of your own learning experience so how do you do that well you need to demonstrate for example what you're doing at the moment goes above and beyond what you're learning in the classroom um, so let's say for example after school you've created an after school reading group that puts the novel that you're reading in much wider historical context and therefore you're reading around the subject. Let's say for example you work in your local cinema um, then you could write in your personal statement for example that not only are you watching all of the films available in the cinema but then you're also um, holding uh, a podcast with your friends and discussing those films that you've seen. You're creating um, a kind of film review podcast. Um, in so doing, that demonstrates that if you're interested in, for example, looking pursuing film studies, that you're actively watching as much as you can and having a critical analytical discussion about those films. Let's say for example you're interested in going to university to study archaeology or indeed classics. Then can you demonstrate your interest and your passion in archaeology or indeed classics by uh, demonstrating you've gone on any, uh, d uh, any digs or volunteering with your local archaeolog archaeological service to find interesting classical remains of Roman civilization. How do you write a personal statement that, that demonstrates uh, an interest and a passion and self-directed learning for two different disciplines? And I think the best thing to think about there is, is thinking about how a particular area of study that you're interested in um, relates to the other area of study. And in so doing, you will be demonstrating self-directed learning. Let's say you're a prospective English and history student. Let's say you are studying um, Shakespeare's Macbeth at school. What you could demonstrate there is that you've gone and read around the subject and you've gone to look at Shakespeare's Othello, for example. And not only have you interested, are you interested in Othello, but you're interested in the way in which it needs to be histor historicised, both within early modern England and why Shakespeare had to uh, write a play at the dawn of empire about a marginalised black man. And, and the racial prejudice that um, uh, it, that Othello faces in the play, but also the ever continuing relevance of this play and how racial prejudice is something we're still battling with. Let's say you're a joint honours student who's looking to pursue a modern language at university uh, alongside a different subject. You could write in your personal statement of that by pursuing um, the, the the particular language you're interested in, let's say that's for example Spanish or French or German or, or Russian, that it helps you have a deeper, more engaged knowledge and understanding of the history, the society, the arts and the culture of that particular country. And it's only through uh, reading and understanding the language that you understand the history, the society, the arts and the culture. For further advice, please feel free to contact your uh, uh, admissions tutor at whichever university that you're applying to. Um, each university and each department or school will have an inquiry form. Um, we're not allowed to accept uh, individual personal statements form, uh, personal statements either here at the University of Nottingham or any university. Um, but all universities will be very happy to give out um, advice and suggestions about how to craft 
your uh, personal statement.